Alicia, and we are going to be doing celebrations around the world, and tonight we'll be talking about Hanukkah. So before we dive in to our program, I am going to ask a question. So I am going to ask the audience, what is their familiarity with Hanukkah? So I'm asking if you're not that familiar, very familiar, or always celebrated. And I'll wait a few minutes here for you all to... And Miss Tanisha, okay. since I'm not voting, mine will be not that familiar. All right, so we're or gonna no. count Mr. Jason too. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and close the poll. A lot of people here, everybody here who is not that familiar, and as Jason may have mentioned earlier, I am, before I put together this presentation, I had um, a little, I had a little bit of familiarity with Hanukkah, but I learned a lot more, not only from the research that I did, but we also have some staff members with us in the library who do celebrate Hanukkah, and they were very helpful in helping me put this together. So let's go ahead and jump in. So quick note before we get started. So of course, whenever we're talking about religious observances, there are people who believe that there are certain ways and certain reasons why we celebrate these different um, holidays. Here we are talking about, we're giving people a brief overview and we're talking about the different ways that people may celebrate it. So we just wanna focus on the fun, we wanna so focus on the celebration and hopefully you will learn some fun facts about Hanukkah. All right, so let's start with the story of Hanukkah. So it is an eight day holiday commem commemorating two events in Jewish history. So it celebrates the victory of the Maccabees over the Syrian army during the Maccabean revolt in which the much smaller Jewish army fought against the Syrian Seleucid empire to retain their tradition. Hanukkah also celebrates the miracle that occurred in the rededicated temple, second temple of Jerusalem in which a day's supply of oil lasted for eight days in the temple menorah. So that's the part of Hanukkah that I was familiar with. The first part I didn't actually know, but the second part I did. Hanukkah is also known as the Festival of Lights or the Feast of Dedication. So when and where Hanukkah is celebrated? It is celebrated all over the world by the Jewish diaspora. So um, I'm sure a lot of people know that it's celebrated in the United States. The White House has commemorates Hanukkah. Um, a lot of other places do. Um, it's definitely a holiday that is celebrated worldwide. And it begins on the 25th day of Kislev, according to the Hebrew calendar, which translates to our calendar to late November or December. So this year, Hanukkah will be December 10th tomorrow. Tomorrow will be the first night of Hanukkah through December 18th. So it is a holiday that changes dates throughout the year, throughout the years. So let's get to the fun, Hanukkah observations and celebrations. The most well-known tradition is the lighting of the menorah. One candle is lit each night and the menorah is also often displayed in a window. Special blessings and hymns are sung during the lighting of the candles. So remember back to the story of Hanukkah, the miracle of the menorah being able to last for eight days with one day's worth of oil. That's why they light the eight candles. And along with the oil, food fried in oil is prominently featured during the celebrations with latkes and sufganya being the most popular. So um, the next page, we're going to talk about some of these terms that I've mentioned because there's a lot of different terms and terms that I had to look up. So we will have a Hanukkah glossary after this. Children often play with a dreidel and are given gifts, including Hanukkah guilt. Hanukkah is considered a minor holiday in Jewish culture, but gained popularity as it coincides with the Christmas season. So in Judaism, there's what's considered high holidays. So holidays that are of utmost importance, and then they have a bunch of minor holidays. And so Hanukkah is even, isn't actually considered a high holiday, but it's prominently celebrated because, you know, we're in the middle of the Christmas season, and it became a little bit more popular as people, I don't want to say associated Hanukkah with Christmas, but it happened around the same time. So, you know, who doesn't like, who doesn't mind another celebration? So 
let's talk about some of the terms that I just threw at you guys. So the greeting that people give each other, and this is in Hebrew, the greeting that's given during the Hanukkah season is Chag Sameach. It uh, translates to happy holiday. Uh, the dreidel that I mentioned earlier, the um, the thing that kids play with during the Hanukkah season is a four-sided top bearing the Hebrew letters Nun, Himel, He, and Sheen, one on each side. Hanukkah gelt. It's traditionally money. So in the past, it was money given as a gift to children during Hanukkah. In current form, currently today, it's given in the form of chocolate coins. So it's chocolate coins wrapped in gold foil. So if we go back to the other one um, on the screen here, you'll notice on the side, those gold coins, that's the Hanukkah gelt. And um, one of the things that served, as I mentioned earlier, are latkes, which are fried potato pancakes served with sour cream or applesauce. I don't know if you guys have ever had a chance to have some latkes, but they are delicious. So if you haven't, I highly recommend that you have some. Of course, one of the biggest and well-known symbols of Hanukkah is the menorah. So the menorah is a candelabrum with nine branches. So if we go back to my other page, that is a picture of a menorah. And you'll notice even though there's eight days of Hanukkah, there are nine candles. And there are nine candles because the candle in the middle is the one that is used to light the rest of the candles. Um, and again, more food. Sufganya is a deep fried donut filled with custard or jelly. And who doesn't like a deep fried donut? They are delicious. So if you would like, oh, I got some, before we go into the learn more, we got some trivia for you. So I am going to ask you some trivia questions. So the first one, what does the word Hanukkah mean? Does it mean dedication, miracle, or remembrance? I'll give you guys a few seconds to vote. So it looks like, well, some people got it right. So it looks like 33% of our audience got it right. So um, Hanukkah means dedication. So going back to that, going back to our story of Hanukkah, um, it's known as the Feast of Dedication. Um, one of the major um, things about, one of the major things that happened in the story of Hanukkah was the rededication of a major temple. So word Hanukkah means dedication. So let's go on to our next question. I think you guys will get this one. So the next one is how many candles are on a menorah? And we'll give you guys a few seconds to answer that. All right, it looks like we did way better this time. So we all got it correct. So yes, there are nine candles on a menorah. As I mentioned earlier, there are eight days of Hanukkah, but that candle in the middle, that ninth candle is the one that's used to light the rest of the candles. So let's go back and I remember to uh, to hide that this time. So let's go back to our slides and let's hit our learn more. So of course, if you'd like to learn more about Hanukkah or any other holiday, please be sure to check out some of the resources we have for you. So of course, if you go to our catalog and you do a quick search of Hanukkah, there's going to be a whole bunch of really good books and other resources that come up. I'd um, also like to point you to one of our resources, World Book Encyclopedia. It is available on the Learning and Research tab of our um, website, and it has a bunch of awesome information about not only Hanukkah, but other major holidays and a bunch of other things, because it's an online encyclopedia, so you can look up anything. Also, I wanted to give a quick shout out to Canopy Kids. So for anyone who may be watching with younger children, or if you have any younger children where you want to introduce them to Hanukkah, Canopy Kids offers a really, really cute and very informative um, little mini documentary. When I say mini, it's like 10 minutes. Documentary on the story of Hanukkah. And it's really fun. It's geared towards kids. It's a very awesome resource. And Canopy Kids, of course, is one of our um, platforms available through our website. It is a awesome streaming video and TV show service. So, and it's free with your library card. So I definitely encourage you guys to check that out. And Jason, do we have any questions or comments about the lovely holiday of Hanukkah? So nothing has come through. 
Um, do you know, when does Hanukkah happen? Did you cover that? I did. So it changes throughout the year. It's usually late November or December. And this year it's going to be December 10th through the 18th. So it's going to start tomorrow. Very cool. And how do you determine when it starts? So it is determined by the Hebrew calendar. So let's go back. So it is determined by the Hebrew calendar. So it is the 25th day, and I hope I am saying this correctly, Kislev. So that is according to the Hebrew calendar. So that's why it changes dates for us because it's using a different calendar. Gotcha. Awesome. So I've put in um, a link to hcplc.org slash events. So you can find out so many other activities and uh, programs that we have coming up. And then I've also put in um, tomorrow, we're gonna have even more of these um, programs. Tomorrow, we're gonna be focusing on Kwanzaa and New Year's Eve. So we have two more programs based on this world celebrations. Again, with Miss Tanisha, she's gonna do an amazing job um and so we're going to learn about kwanzaa and new year's eve again two more uh wonderful holidays that happened between now and the first of the year um so i don't see any questions coming through yep so i'm glad you guys were able to celebrate it with us this weekend i know i totally learned a lot when i got a chance to look up all of these different holidays and jason already plugged the two programs so we'll be talking about Kwanzaa we'll be talking about New Year's Eve so there I'm, I mean unfortunately I'm not going to be shooting off any fireworks but it's still going to be fun we're still going to have a good time I don't think my neighbors would like that so we're still going to have a good time and so before we go just what we always have thank you for celebrating with us of course if you need to contact us by phone email text however you'd like to carry your pigeon however you feel is the best way to contact us please do so and of course, if you'd like to check out our other library programs and events, I've also included a link for our event calendar as well. Um, we are in the last few days of the fall reading challenge. So if you are, if you know about that, you still got a few more days to log in your reading. Uh, we are wrapping that up. And thank you so much for celebrating with us. And all of you all have a wonderful evening. Good night, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Y'all have a wonderful night. Hope to see you tomorrow night.